former headquarters, the American Banknote Company building at 70 Broad Street, Manhattan Printing Plant in the South Bronx AB Corp. is an American corporation providing contract manufacturing and related services to the authentication, payment and secure access business sectors. Its history dates back to 1795 as a secure engraver and printer, and assisting the newly formed First Bank of the United States to design and produce more counterfeit-resistant currency. The company has facilities in the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. The American Bank Note Company is a wholly owned subsidiary of AB Corp. Robert Scott, the first official engraver of the young U.S. Mint, began the company that would eventually grow into a high-security engraving and printing firm, the American Bank Note Company. Founded in 1795 as Murray, Draper, Fireman and Company after Scott's three partners, the company prospered as United States population expanded and financial institutions proliferated. Its products included stock and bond certificates, paper currency for the nation's thousands of state chartered banks, postage stamps, and a wide variety of other engraved and printed items. Two security printers absorbed into the ABN in 1879 produced U.S. postage stamps between 1861 and that year, the National Banknote Company and the Continental Banknote Company. On April 29, 1858, following the Panic of 1857, seven prominent security printers merged to form the American Banknote Company. The new company made New York City its headquarters. Less than two years later, the remaining handful of independent banknote printers merged to form the National Banknote Company. To be close to the stock exchanges, brokerage firms, and banks in Lower Manhattan, the American Bank Note Company established its headquarters in the Merchants Exchange Building at 55 Wall Street in Manhattan. The company moved its office and plant to 142 Broadway in 1867, to another new facility at 78-86 Trinity Place in 1882, and again to 70 Broad Street in 1908. The first federally issued paper currency was circulated by the U.S. Treasury Department following the outbreak of the American Civil War. Congress passed authorizing legislation for $60 million worth of these demand notes on July 17 and August 5, 1861. Under contract with the government, a novel paper money, called greenbacks by the public, was produced by the American Banknote Company and the National Banknote Company. A total of seven. 25 million notes were produced in denominations of $5, $10, and $20. American and National were also producing paper money for the Confederacy at the same time. 100 Pesos Banco Italiano del Uruguay American Banknote Company, share certificate following the initial production of U.S. currency by the Government's Bureau of Engraving and Printing in 1862, ABCO sought a new business abroad. The company eventually supplied security paper and banknotes to 115 foreign countries. In 1877 Congress mandated that the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing be the sole producer of all United States currency. The security printing industry, finding a good deal of its work had evaporated, accordingly underwent a second major consolidation in 1879, as American absorbed the National Bank Note and Continental Bank Note companies. At the time of the merger, Continental held the contract to produce U.S. postage stamps, and this production continued under American. In 1887, ABCO won the second four-year contract to engrave and print postal notes for the U.S. Post Office. American assigned Thomas F. Morris, its chief designer, the task of redesigning this early money order. The paper for this contract was produced by Crane & Company. Of Dalton, Massachusetts. In 1891 the American Bank Note Company began producing a new form of negotiable instrument for a long-time customer, the American Express Traveler's Check Demand Notes. In its first year, American Express sold $9,120 worth of product. In 1894, ABCO completed the final contract for the private printing of American stamps. Perhaps the most popular were the Columbian issue, one cent to five dollars issues commemorating the voyages of Christopher Columbus and the 1892-93 Columbian Exposition in Chicago. On July 1, 1894, American delivered its entire stamp producing operation to the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing in Washington, D.C., where U.S. stamps were still printed up into the 1990s. The American Bank Note Company. Ottawa, Ontario, Canada 1897-1911 In 1933, the company printed the second series of Bank Melly Iran banknotes. In 1943 the U.S. Post Office launched a series of 13 stamps honoring the countries that had been overrun by the Axis during World War II. Each stamp featured a full-color reproduction of one of the occupied nations. 
while the Bureau of Engraving and Printing had previously issued bicolored stamps, it did not have equipment for printing the necessary multicolored flag images, and so, contracted with the American Banknote Company to produce the stamps. Issued between June 1943 and November 1944, the Overrun Country series reproduced the flags of Poland, Czechoslovakia, Norway, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Greece, Yugoslavia, Albania, Austria, Denmark, and Korea. American Banknote Corporation is headquartered in Stamford, Connecticut, with North American manufacturing facilities located in Boston, Massachusetts, and Toronto, Ontario, and distribution services located in Columbia, Tennessee. Today, AB Corp. offers a wide variety of products and services touching each of the commercial, financial, and government and nonprofit sectors. Ranging from dual interface payment debit and credit cards to B2B distribution services touching 60. 000 plus retail storefronts. The company has operations located in the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, and customers in over 120 countries across the globe. The American Bank Note Company building and American Bank Note Company printing plant were both built in 1908 and are both designated New York City landmarks. The former is also listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. The buildings were sold in 1988 and 1985, respectively. Thanks for watching.